How would you feel? Do you think it's wrong for your spouse to... What's up, TV fam? Welcome back to TV Nation. It's your girl, Tawana. And your boy, Vaughn. And we are back on the scene, back on the set with another video for y'all. Whew. This one's a doozy, y'all. Some, yeah. Something a little special and something a little not too nice. Before we get into that, we're going to get into this. We're going to tell y'all about this food. So what's so special about this? Y'all, I am super excited. I know this is going to sound really weird, but this is actually my first time trying Quiznos. Mm -hmm. There's a reason I'm not really a sandwich person, so when I do want a sandwich, I go to Subway because it's my favorite because they got all the veggies. But I'm trying Quiznos today, and y'all, it's looking so good. I'm already excited. I'm like, oh, look at the bread. Look at look look at this cheese, y'all. How this cheese melted on there. That's cheddar cheese. It's turkey. I got the turkey chipotle something with turkey, lettuce, tomato, cheddar cheese, chipotle mayo, baby. It's about to be so good. What you got? And I got what used to be my favorite from them. This is the Baja chicken. Y'all look at that. It's got chicken with bacon. Ooh, that look good too. Some kind of sweet sauce so or Baja sauce. Um, yeah, we got some chips, of course. You know I got to have some chips. I got chips. Hey. I got chips today, baby. I skipped breakfast for this. I was ready. Mm -hmm. We ain't ate all day. Well, let's let the queen have first bite, shall we? I get to take the first bite. Yummy. See what you oh, think about Quiznos. Let me see if this is as good as I remember. It's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Where is Quiznos even? I never even saw it. It's over in town and country. Oh. Mm -hmm. I never even saw it. It's good. I should have gotten a bigger one though. This is the eight inch. You want more than that? Twelve? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Twelve mm -hmm. inches next. Yep. Why you say that? So when you go this to is, Subway, you get six inch. This is narrow though. Brit it is. Subway it's, it's, bread yeah. is wider. That's true. It's smaller. Smaller bread. Y'all, it's so good. I already showed y'all. I'm gonna show you again. I'm loving it for me. Your mom ever said you're a little narrow ass? Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. my ass was really narrow. You took a narrow ass in here. I well, don't parents say that. <laughs> the narrow ass. Mm-hmm. So do y'all have a Quiznos near you? Hmm. You know what? We was in a man cave last night. And Debo was eating, um, I think it's called Sharks. It's What's a, that? It's one of them hood chicken and uh, seafood type places, fried stuff. Just all the fried stuff. Mm. We need to find a place like that here. Yeah. If it's in a gas station or if it's attached to a gas station or if it's in the hood, it's going to be good. Let me just say shout out to the man cave. They've been doing their thing. Y'all mm -hmm. been doing y'all thing every night. Watching these playoff games. And I just love seeing these black men come together, have a good time, enjoy some male bonding, talk, laugh, just enjoy each other's company. It's so good to see that. We need more of that in our community. So we do. I'm really excited about that. That's why we say and it's a I, movement, y'all. It is a movement. Shout out to everyone in the man cave. Y'all doing a really great job. And y'all taking these men off our hands for a little <laughs> while we got a couple of free hours there <laughs> y'all no i'm just playing i'll be missing my baby y'all i do like what time you gonna be back but so shout out to the man cave yeah, brothers shout out to the man cave debo vibes tj embry <laughs> cj of cj and sharice real ralph of real ralph and mika boo did I name the, oh, um, Lowe of the Tony family. 
and our two newest additions, uh, Dre of Tripping with Dre and Michelle, and Trey of Trey and Nene. Mm, cool. Um, trigger, trigger, Trey. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I don't remember what day this video is coming out, but y'all check any of them channels to see when the next video is coming out. The next man cave video. Mm-hmm. Not video coming out. When the next time we're gonna be live watching the game? Hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm really liking it. You like it? Yeah, I like this bread. I like that the bread is narrower because. I'm not a big bread eater, and I, as much as I love Subway, I just love Subway because they have the most variety of fresh veggies. Mm-hmm. But they do have too much bread, though. I, I usually be pulling bread off. They have <laughs> such huge pieces of bread. But this is like race. The ratio is perfect. They got more choices for the bread too. Subway. Mhm. Mhm. They got more choices of everything: cheese, veggies, bread, chips. Everything. Sauces. Hmm. Sandwiches. Yeah, I'll be sleeping on Subway. Hmm. Subway got everything. <laughs> Good. Now, we ain't going to sit on here and eat Quiznos and be bigging up Subway the whole okay. time. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Quiznos. I like y'all stuff, too. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to get y'all a second spot. Oh, we're the second spot. The second spot. Over McAllister's? Over McAllister's. I don't wow. remember what I had for McAllister's, which, that's a sign. Mm. I think this is better than whatever I got from McAllister's. Do you remember what I had? Mm-hmm. I like the this. Video. I think it's the bread. I really do think it's the ratio. I think it's, the bread is not too much. Mm-hmm. Um, everything come together so nicely. They put enough of everything. I can't bite this and say, oh, they should have put more cheese, they should have put more mayo, they should have put more meat. They have enough of everything. It's like perfectly made. And the bread is kind of thin enough. I don't know. It's my second spot, favorite spot. And it's my first time, so that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. I do have to make fun of Cuisinos a little bit, y'all. Why? Do y'all remember? This would have been back in the early 2000s. 2004, 2005, somewhere now. Quiznos came out with this crazy commercial. I'm going to see if I can find it. And if I do, I'm going to put a clip in here. But it was rats. Like, like, <laughs> like little, not cartoon, but like uh, puppet rat rats. And they were just hanging out. Like, I don't know if they were eating the sandwiches. I don't know what they were doing. But that was like the worst. Like, who sat in that room and decided this is what we're going to go with? We love these subs. Because they are toasty they are so good we need them robot eating roast houses barbaric exactly who thinks about who wants to eat their food if they're watching rats <laughs> that don't make me want to go buy your food I'm glad I didn't see that because I probably wouldn't be trying it right now <laughs> and there some ugly rats too it's like who even made these puppets what rats are cute Mickey Mouse? <laughs> Mickey Mouse is not a rat. Mm, close enough. <laughs> rat ain't nothing but a big mouse. Different. They look different. Mm-hmm. Are there any cartoon rats? No. I, I know of. Hmm. Hmm, think about that one. Ratatouille. Does that have rats in it? The cartoon? Mm. The movie? I don't know, but they probably ugly too. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all, I have a question, and then we're gonna get to the story. Mm, you got a question and a story. My question is, because I want to know what y'all think. I want to know what you think too. After I tell my story. Mm. So I'm, I'm gonna ask y'all this question before I talk about the story. And after. Because I just want to know. How would you feel? Not how would you feel. 
Because, I mean, that's not forgiven. Do you think it's wrong for your spouse to leave a large amount of money to his or her ex spouse in the will? And I'm going to tell y'all why I'm asking that. You got something written down over there? No. no. Why, you want to say something? You look like you want to say something already. You want me to answer that? You can. What you think? Do I think it's okay to leave a large sum of money in the will to the ex? Yeah. Hmm. And the See, reason... My, oh, go ahead. My immediate reaction is that don't even make any sense. Like, why would your ex even be in the will? <laughs> but I'm trying to think maybe there's some circumstance under which that would make sense. Like what? Um... Well, but what I'm thinking of, you could just leave it to the child. I mean, I'm thinking um, maybe if y'all got a special needs child or something like that, and you, you want to make sure that child is taken care of, and she the one going to be the one taking care of that child. You can still leave it to the child. You can leave it to the child, but who's going to... I guess somebody has to be appointed an administrator over the money or something. Right. If the child is still a minor, then they can't do it themselves. But yeah, I can't think of a reason why that would that would make sense. Yeah, let me tell y'all why I'm asking that. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell y'all. I saw this on the show. I'm not going to say the show because some of y'all may have already seen it, but that's not why. Some of you may not have seen it, and you may be planning on watching it, and I don't want to spoil anything because I don't like when nobody spoils something for me. But I saw this on the show I was watching, and it really had me thinking. So on this show, this woman, um, her husband had a heart attack dropped dead, had a lot of money. She went to the reading of the will and mm -hmm. during the reading of the will, they told her and a million dollars was left to so and so, the ex-wife. Damn! Damn. So, she's shocked, she's confused, she doesn't understand why. Let me ask you this. What? Was she also in the will? Oh, yeah, she was in the will, too. Mostly everything was up to her, so let me say that. So he that means he updated his will, or he never had one in the first place when he was with the other one. Oh, yeah. But he created it. See? He either updated it and added a new wife and left the old one in it, or when he created the, the will for the first time, he put the ex-wife in it. See, that? yeah. The ex-wife, the new wife got most of everything, but the ex-wife got a million dollars. So the woman is confused. She's angry. Hmm. So now she's like trying to deal with grieving the loss of her husband, but now she's angry with them mm -hmm. because she's trying to figure out why didn't I know about this? What's the reason you would leave a million dollars to your ex-wife? They didn't have any kids. Let me put that out there. Mm. No kids. So she's snooping through his stuff. She's trying to go through his phone. <laughs> she's trying to uh, figure out the passwords to get into his email. She's going through his pockets. She's trying to find information. She can't find nothing. We take a bite. <laughs> so before you go on, did she find something? You gotta wait. I'm already thinking. You gotta wait. I'm not. I didn't see this show, y'all. I'm hearing this for the first time. <clears throat> you gotta wait, too. <laughs> <laughs> because this is the second part of it that makes it, I guess, more irritating. Hmm. So, she didn't find nothing, okay? So, she, because she couldn't find anything, she felt like she had no answers. Hmm. She talked to the man lawyer. He didn't know why the ex-wife was in the will. She talked to friends and family of the man. They didn't know why the man left the ex-wife in the will. Hmm. Who's the only other person that could possibly answer that? The ex-wife. The ex-wife. So, now she's reaching out to the ex-wife. She's calling the ex-wife. She's texting the ex-wife. The ex-wife refusing to talk to her, won't answer her calls, won't return her texts. Was the ex-wife at the reading, reading of the will? ex-wife was not there. Hmm. So now she's pissed at her husband. She's pissed at this ex-wife. She's trying to figure out, has our whole marriage been a lie? Has he been in contact with this woman? Mm -hmm. Have they been talking the whole time? And mind you, the new wife and the ex-wife didn't even get along. They didn't hmm. even really like each other. So... 
she shows up the, at the ex-wife's job. She's stalking the ex-wife. The, the ex-wife still refusing to talk to her, telling people her job to escort her off the premises. Mm. But she's really um, becoming obsessed with this situation because how do you grieve your husband and move on and you don't have the answers to these questions? So that may, that had me thinking, what do you do in a situation like that? And how do you get the answers? And what are some maybe valid reasons this man would have left this woman money? So I started thinking of all these possible scenarios. Um, and hmm. I was like, okay, well, if they had kids, even though they didn't, so that was a what if. Hmm. And you just don't know. But I, I did finally come up with a reason that I think would be justified in leaving the ex money. So on the show, the woman never got the question answered? Well, let me tell y'all this. <laughs> it might spoil it. If some of you are watching this, you'll know I'm talking about it. may not have gotten there yet, but it might not. Well, it comes out very soon. Hmm. The woman finally agreed to meet with her because she just won't leave the woman alone. She's like, okay, what you want? And so she what asked, why did my husband leave you money in his will? The woman said, I don't know. She mm. said, I have not been in communication with your husband. I have no idea why he would leave me money. She lying. She might be lying, right? <laughs> and the woman said, I'm not even accepting the money. Mm. Okay? I don't even want the money. The woman said, I just want you to leave me alone. So what they gathered, I've heard the woman. So... It was a whole lot of drama with her and the woman and this man. So this woman, so this girl, the new wife dated this man and then they broke up and the man married this other woman. Mm. And then him and the new, the one, the new, the one who was currently his new wife was still kind of talking, which played a role in the Mm -hmm. divorce from him and the ex-wife. So they were kind of thinking that, you know, the way he makes amends is with money. Mm. So he felt like he kind of did her dirty in the marriage and giving her money was his way of expressing his remorse and trying to, you know, fix the wrong. So the new wife and the ex-wife brainstormed this and that's what they came up with? they came up with. <laughs> <laughs> because the, the, ex, the ex-wife was adamant about not having contact with the man. So I, that made sense to me. I'm, I'm going to say two things that make sense to me. That made sense to me because... I know men with money that communicate with their money. And some, they, they often are better with money than they are with words mm. and with feelings. So if I can't say, I'm sorry for what I did to you, I can give you some money you or I can buy you a big song. gift. Exactly. But you don't use the way to die. I mean, so, and that's what I didn't like about it. Like, if he felt like he wanted to get his woman some money because he felt like he did her wrong, why not communicate? That with your wife. Because he also, like you said, he ain't good with communicating. He's not good with communicating. But at the same so time. Like, he's like, instead of me sitting there fighting with her about that, let me just put it in the wheel. At least and I let her find out when least, you dead. At least I ain't got to deal with it. That's dirty. And let her find out when you dead. You said, at least I ain't got to hear her mouth. Mm-mm. <laughs> what y'all think about that? What should he have done differently? Obviously, do you think he should have told her? So see, I was thinking... I bet the new wife was the side chick while he was married to the ex-wife. And then once he divorced her and decided to get with her, <laughs> the wife became the ex-wife became the side chick. So they were still messing around. So he's like, let me break a little something It's the thing. We'll never know the truth. Mm-mm. Because the ex-wife and the new wife came up with this together. Of course, the, the ex-wife not going to want the new wife to know if she was a side chick. Hmm? I'm not about to let you know I was messing with your husband. Hmm. But let me tell you what I was thinking. Because I finally came up with a scenario where it would be justified. Mm. It's not not telling the wife it's not justified mm. under any circumstances. Mm-hmm. But leaving the ex spouse money might be. Let me tell you why. Let's say you are married to someone and Y'all are building together. And I thought my own, I, y'all, I thought about my own parents in this scenario. Hmm. 
And I'm just, let me talk about that so y'all understand. My mom and my dad got married early in their lives. They were like, what, 19, 20. Hmm. My dad started a business. My mom helped him start that business. Mm-hmm. My mom helped him run that business. The business became successful. My daddy made this my money. So they were married for like 25 years or so. Mm-hmm. They started off with nothing. By the time they had divorced, my dad had a thriving business. And he did give my mom uh, marital support. Now, that's different because it's not like I'm dead and leaving you money. But he felt like I wouldn't have had this if it wasn't for you. Hmm. Because you helped me build this business from scratch. So I can see how if he was maybe with the ex-wife starting from nothing and she was there and basically helped him get to where he is, I could see him feeling like he owes her something monetarily. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you have to communicate that with your current wife. And what do you think about that? Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Well, and then also, the spousal support thing makes more sense than, I'm going to break you off because you helped me get here, but you had to wait till I die. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, but she might, but she might have got the, the spousal support and yeah. getting money in the will. So oh, yeah. why would you need all that? Mm-hmm. Why would you need extra? Mm-hmm. What y'all think about that? What would you do in that situation? But yeah, he did. He should have. Where he went wrong was he didn't communicate none of this to his wife. Mm-hmm. Don't secrets, ever wait sister? until you dead for me to find out any secrets. <laughs> oh. No woman wants to find out secrets about her husband after he gone. Well, I don't know if we want to do this on here, but. <laughs> what? I should probably tell you something. What? <laughs> <laughs> Line, y'all. I was hoping you would react and then I could <laughs> turn this into something. Mm-hmm. Nah. I ain't got no secrets, y'all. Y'all, I felt so bad for her. Because I can only imagine what that must feel like. Mm-hmm. She's already sad and grieving and crying, going to the, to the wheel, reading, and that's what come out? Oh, Lord. Mm-mm. I bet her eyes booked when she heard that. She made a re reread it, and she had to read it for herself. <laughs> what you say? Made me think of something else. Women, if your man has a will, you need to know what's on it. Mm. If he ain't dead, <laughs> which means if he had a chance to write his will, he's not dead yet. He should. That needs to be communicated to you also. What do you think? Well, see, here's the thing, y'all. This all goes back to that whole, you don't want your spouse to be looking stupid. You do. You yeah. don't do nothing to make your spouse look stupid. So it's like, if either one of us has a will, yeah. you want to make sure when they're sitting at the reading of that will, because one of y'all, if both of y'all got wills, one of you at some point will be sitting there listening to the will. You need to be the only person in the room that ain't going to be surprised by nothing you hear. Mm-hmm. Right. So... So if y'all talk about that and agree on something like that, I'm not looking stupid. I can say, oh, I'm aware of that. Mm-hmm. We discussed that. Right. Hmm. Because she had two friends in there with her. And you know you know how friends are, baby. <laughs> you said, what? <laughs> you going to let him do that? <laughs> so y'all, thank you for joining us again. As always. If you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. What do you think it's there for? <laughs> Stop lurking. Y'all do all that cringy YouTube stuff. Y'all know what it is. And we will catch y'all on the next one. TMB Nation out. Bye.